Hey guys, Target with Cyclone FPV. I'm about to show you something on the screen here. Uh, bear with me a second because I just realized that as I'm doing this, uh, I think my soldering iron is... Actually, it's not too bad now. I can go ahead and replace it. So what you're looking at right now is the um, these little pins right here. Those little spots, that's where the USB is supposed to go, but the USB uh, broke. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace it. Uh, bear with me though. I am trying to get my right soldering tip put on here and I'm not sure if I've quite accomplished that or not so bear with me a second here yeah I think it's right I think we're right I think we're good okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try now by using this mount instead and keeping this as I, as I hit it and here I am saying I'm gonna try this I'm gonna try to actually do this repair uh, under the microscope while it's being held by those helping hands and I don't know how successful this will be because every little, every little move I make is going to move it. But let's just see if we can do it, okay? So here's the first, the first thing we've got to do is we need to get a lot of flux from our flux pen put on here. Now, I know this may wiggle out of view, but don't worry about that. We'll put it back there just a little bit. Okay, so just make sure you get a ton of flux put on this board uh, because you want to make sure, you want to make sure that you don't get any solder. This will help keep the solder away from where it shouldn't go and help kind of pull it right to where it needs to go, which is on those pins. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is obviously make sure you have your USB port. And I think I have one here. I'm gonna put this on just so I can see the quality of these pins. Yeah, this, this should be fine, okay? So I'm gonna leave that right there so you can kind of get an idea. Um, I'm actually gonna take that off here, put on the base real quickly so you can see it. Let me change the focus. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to actually tin this. Now, I think this might be the original one that came off, but usually I'd use a new one, but these pins are actually in pretty good shape. So I'm just going to go ahead and tin those as well. I'm going to, I'm going to start with this first, and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take, put my goggles on here, my glasses on, I mean. Okay, so we want to tin them, and it looks like our soldering iron is pretty hot, and we want to make sure that we have a super fine tip soldering iron. Okay, so... All I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to run it across and if you see it bridge don't panic because that's going to happen and you just keep running it across and you should be able to break any bridges and if you have a hard time put your flux put more flux on there clean the tip of the soldering iron off and get back to it okay and you should see that there you go you see how nice that is now they're all tinned the bridges are gone. This thing's ready to solder, okay? The only other problem that you need to figure out is, okay, this thing obviously broke off because it didn't have a good connection. So what you want to try to do, let me just kind of focus this back, is okay, you can see where it's supposed to connect. You have these two spots here and here where it solders down. The problem is, is that may not hold, but what we are going to do, we're going to just try to add a little bit here Okay, and a little bit here. And when I say a little bit, even this may be too much. Okay, because uh, this thing has to sit flat. Now the only other thing left to do, and I'm gonna have to turn this because of the way I saw it, I need to be able to turn this and come out of that. Okay, so now the only other thing left is to clean up where it's gonna be soldered. So we're basically gonna be pre-tinning and you should be able to just touch these and get them to pre-tin, but there are chances are where there's not enough solder left on them but we're gonna see these look like they're actually pretty good okay with that done let me get this thing straightened out a little bit the goal here is going to be to get one pin soldered okay so lay it down trust me i know that my fingers are going to get in the way of this thing it's the only way I know to do it. And this is, see, these bumps are going to be already too high because I cannot lay this down flat. But you want to get it lined up. You know, all the pins line up together. Okay, just kind of like, I know this may go out of focus, but kind of like that. Okay, so here, let me try it with a set of tweezers so maybe you guys can see better. Um, uh, let's see, let's try these. Okay. 
So your goal here, right? To line up the pins. Let me tilt this down just a little bit. Then you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Let's focus. Okay, so if I take the USB port, I want to line up the pins from the USB port right on top of the pins where they need to go. Okay, now I'm looking at the screen. That's why it's moving all over the place. I'm just going to look at the pins and see if I can get this. My goal is to get one pin soldered. And then, I believe I've already done it. So, okay. Now, the problem here is that, all right, our pins are actually on now. You can see that right there, okay? Problem is there's nothing holding this down to stop it from disappearing, uh, or from popping off, I mean. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna move this around and I'm gonna try my best so that you guys can see it. I'm gonna try to get this piece to lay down and solder. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold it and I'm gonna try. Basically what I wanna do is I want it to get a grip onto the USB. I'm gonna tilt that a little bit, see if you can see that, hold on. Sorry guys, but it's magnified 200 times every little move. Okay, so that's where I soldered just now. Right there. I'll put the soldering iron down so I can try to focus. Oh, that's it. All right, so that's just gonna be temporary, but that will give me enough to at least go to the other side now, okay? I'll try to angle this so you can see it. There's the other USB, right? Now I've got this thing laying on its side, so I'm gonna see. I've gotta figure out how to get in here so that you guys can see and then I can see. Uh, let's see. Without using the word see a million more times, please, I apologize. All right. God, I'm really sorry, guys, but you have to understand that it is not easy doing this period. It's definitely not easy when you're trying to have people watch you do it or you're trying to put the video together on it. One of the things you have to be careful of here is that you do not want the solder to run into the USB port. If it does, you won't be able to get your USB cable in there. All right, so that looks like that actually held. All right, so let's bring this back around now and see what we got. Okay. Okay. So it's a little bit of an angle. I'm going to angle this now. See if I can get you guys to see that. You'll see once I get this on here, you're going to see what kind of angle it is at there. You can see that it's not laying flat, but I'll be honest with you. If I can get it to stay, I'll be just fine with this because it's about one millimeter, maybe a millimeter and a half off. What I do not want to do, like I said, is I do not want to get this inside the, uh, as a matter of fact, I may stop here because that's on actually pretty solid. So uh, I think I'm good. So now the test is going to be to see if we can, um, and here, and I'll show you guys the board now. So this is the board we just did. Okay, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. All right. Now, as you can see, we've got the USB soldered. Uh, it is staying a little bit at an angle. There's about a two millimeter gap from where it would be laying flat, but I'm not worried about that right now. I can always put something around it. What I wanna know is, is my connection good, right? And the best way to figure out if your connection's good is to plug it in. Now you have to be careful because if you didn't solder it well enough, then that connection is gonna break and that could very well happen here. I haven't taken the time to really push it down much, but that's just because uh, I like to not attempt fate here. So let's just go ahead and go to Betaflight. Here, what I'm gonna do is I'll make the screens like this, okay? We're gonna go to Betaflight now, and I'm gonna plug this in, and we're gonna hope that I don't have to use too much force. And there we go, look at that. And we just were able to connect our flight controller. See, so now we're, it's perfect, guys. So that little simple fix fixed the flight controller that had a broken USB. So now I'm just gonna gently wiggle it out. And there you go, problem solved. Okay, so I'm gonna end this video here, right? I, I know it was jiggling around a little bit, but really I hope you got to see how it's done. It's very simple. Um, it, it's, and here's why I'm stopping, because what I'm gonna show you next is if you can get your USB back on, I'm gonna show you how to attach it using a different device. 
If you can't get it back on, I'm gonna set another video for that one, okay? So just stay, stay tuned for part two of this, right? Uh, I'm gonna come back right now, but I'm gonna stop with this one right here so that this should hopefully help some of you with what you needed. I'll end the video here. If you have any questions, as always, please head on over to our Facebook page and then on our groups. Uh, let me see, this hand? Yeah, that hand right there. So facebook.com, groups, whatever. Uh, just go there, okay, and, and, and join us, and enjoy the talks that we have and whatever, uh, and you'll find some help there. And then please, um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I, I say this every time, and I mean it, uh, and, and here's my proof, because i got to keep my Lego guy here for my son. My kids look at this, okay, and they, they always are, like, excited for me. Dad, you got a new, we're almost at 4,000. I know there's guys that have a ton. We started late, and, um, but, uh, but uh, I did promise them. And I would work hard to get it growing. So if you could please just subscribe and pass it on to other people, that'd be great, okay? All right, guys, God bless, be safe. We'll be back with uh, part two here in just a minute, okay? Talk to you soon. Bye.